going on guys let's look at this problem right here here this question is asking the coaxial cable consists of an inner wire of radius r1 is equal to 0 0.04 meter on the axis of an outer hollow cylindrical conducting tube of inner radius r2 is equal to 0 0.08 meter and outer radius r2 is equal to 0 0.09 meter the inner conductor carries current i1 is equal to 4.4 ampere in one direction and the current outer conductor carries current I2 7.70 ampere in the opposite direction. Apply the ampere law to the, find the magnitude of the magnetic field at the following distance from the central axis of the cable. The distance is given R is equal to 0 0.06 meter. Okay, so this is the one we are interested in. Now let's go ahead and draw the diagram for this question. So here we are going to have few circles. First inner circle in a wire and then we are going to have this distance at r 0 0.06 and after that 0 0.08 0 0.08 and after that we have 0 0.09 okay now the second one is the one we are interested in 0 0.06 now to illustrate this one better we are going to put a dot dot line that's going to be the amperian circle okay so here we are going to get rid of some parts okay now let's note down the distances the distance for this one the, and also we have charges like you know, currents the inner current and outer currents are in the opposite direction let's assume inner current is coming outside of the page and let's assume this one is going inside of the page and this is i1 and this is I2 let's use a different color to show the distances the first one is 0 0.04 meter radius 0 0.04 then the second one is 0 0.06 this is our point of interest and the third one is 0 0.08 0 0.08 and the last one is 0. 0 0.09 meter okay so we have these informations and here we are going to use the ambient slow ambient slow states that okay let's write down ambient slow ambient slow ambient slow says that integral of bds is equal to mu naught i enclosed okay and b is not going to change like due to symmetry is going to be equal everywhere so this is a constant and uh, if we integrate this one ds thus we are integrating the line of line of current right the line of current is going to be a circle and the length of the circle is starting from zero and the length of the circle is the circumference right and circumference of the circle is given by 2 phi r and in our case we are interested in this point r right so this is going to be 2 phi small r right here and that is equivalent to mu naught i enclosed but in this region we are interested in until 0 0.06 within this one the only current closed is this one i1 i2 is outside of this one so we don't have to worry about that one i1 is the one closed in this in this given region so i enclosed is going to be just i1 okay now let's go ahead and do the integration and if we do the integration this is going to become b and this is going to be just 2 phi r because s is going to go from 0 to 2 phi r so we just get 2 phi r so we can directly mu multiply 2 phi r right here b times b times 2 phi r that's going to be equal to mu naught i1 here we are trying to solve for the b so b is going to be equal to mu naught i1 divided by 2 phi r and therefore mu naught is 4 phi times 10 to the power minus 7 and the i1 is provided that is 4.4 divided by 2 phi times the r distance that is 0 0.06 and that's going to give us 14.6 micro tesla okay so the my final answer is 14.6 micro tesla at this given point r is equal to 0 
I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.